Hey guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today I have another tool review for you. We're not gonna be doing any mods or installs today, but we are gonna be looking at this. This is without a doubt the coolest bore scope that I have ever seen. Some of you may know what a bore scope is or have one, some of you may not, but basically this is a camera that will allow you to see in really tight places, deep down in engine bays, down pipes and whatnot, really good for looking inside motors. There's a ton of applications for this, but this is unlike one I've ever seen before. Look at this, look what it can do. What the heck is that? <laughs> so uh, this has a adjuster knob on it to where it can look left, right, or depending on if you twist it, up and down. And this is gonna be so useful in so many applications. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um, but let's go over to the table. I wanna show you exactly how this thing comes so you can see all of its features and then we will put it to use. So here is our bore scope. It does come with a very nice case. And inside it comes with a little baggie with a bunch of USB cables, charging cable, and cables to connect to iPhone and Android phones and USB-C, alcohol wipe pads, and a wipe for your phone because you do have to use your phone for the screen. This is just the camera. And the bore scope itself just feels very nice in quality. The materials that they use, it just feels quality, especially this phone clamp. So this is how you mount the phone, you know, pretty universal, but even this screw right here, this clamp, it just feels actually really nice. I'm not just making this up. The plastic on here feels very nice and high quality. You have your power button here on the side, which also turns on your LEDs for the bore scope. And this button right here will take a picture if you press it and take a video if you hold it does come with a cover for the camera. And one thing that I learned uh, when using this, it has a little threaded protector right here, which you can take off or put back on. And this kind of protects the LED, but I found if you don't have this on all the way, if you don't have it threaded all the way in, it will mess with the ISO of the camera and how it reacts to the LED. So make sure that this is threaded all the way in when you're using it or all the way off, but I would recommend that you keep it on. And of course you have the adjustment knob here, which this is just the coolest thing. It looks funny, it looks hilarious, but this is an absolute game changer for a bore scope. So this will allow you to like go in a cylinder down through the spark plug hole, and then you can turn around 180 degrees and look up at the cylinder head, or you can use this if you're snaking through pipes or if you're like in a manifold or something, you can, you know, bend the head this way and make that go down the runner or something. There's a lot of doors that are opening because of this and I am super excited. So let's go over to my engine and see uh, what we can see with this thing. Now there is an app that you have to download for this, which is in the instructions. So we're gonna get my phone clamped on here, plug it in. Then we can power on the bore scope. Oh, there we go. We're using the camera right now through my phone and you can take a picture or video with the buttons on your screen or with the buttons on the remote here. Up here are some settings you can change the resolution We'll turn it on to 1080p. And kind of hard to see, but there's even a uh, thermometer up there. Right now it's 34 degrees Celsius. Um, pretty cool stuff, but let's take this into the engine and see what we can see. All right, let's take a video. We're gonna go in the throttle body here. Press and hold the button right here. And now we are recording. Let's go in. I noticed that if you rotate your phone, for some reason the recording stops. Okay, now we're in the intake manifold. And if we rotate this, we can look up. And look at that, we can see the secondary intake runner valves. Rotate 180 degree back, and we're looking out of the throttle body. How freaking cool is that? 
All right, I'm excited to see this. This engine is rebuilt, so there shouldn't be anything exciting going on in here, but I'm excited to get this in there and look back at the top of the cylinder head. Hopefully it works out. Look at that. But let's turn around, see if we can do that. This engine might be too close. Yes, look at that. Yes, you can turn around and look up at the valves. How freaking sick is that? Sick. Come here. Dude, guys, this is a game changer, man. You can inspect every valve. All right, guys, there you go. This thing is absolutely incredible. The picture quality is amazing. I've used some other bore scopes and the picture quality can't even compare to this. This looks so good. You were actually able to see good detail on that piston and the valves. I am totally blown away with this thing. This is gonna help out so much around the shop. If you're doing automotive repair, this is gonna save your butt. Uh, you might already have one, but if you don't have one that can do this, you, you gotta pick this thing up. I like that it records to your phone because Others that save to an SD card in a screen that's attached to the camera, you're not always gonna have that on you. This is gonna save it to the device that's in your pocket, so wherever you are, you're gonna be able to access that information, whether it's a picture, a video, whatever. Um, I like the idea of having that information on me at all times. So if I wanna show somebody something, if, if there's an engine that totally grenaded and you get a video of it with this and you have that in your pocket, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, overall, this thing just feels really high quality. The handle feels nice, the clamp feels nice, the camera is incredible, it feels really high quality. The only downside, which you know you can't have your cake and eat it too, is the length of the cable. It's a little on the short end, but if you're doing it for automotive, I guess you don't really need anything longer than this, but it would be nice if it was a little bit longer. Say you're a plumber, or you're doing some kind of residential, commercial, or industrial work, you might need something that's longer. Um, but for automotive, for working on it, for working on engines and stuff, this is perfect and I highly, highly recommend it. If this is something that you think you're interested in, I will have a link to this in the description down below. I wish I had this sooner. We had a Chevy Equinox that totally grenaded so hard and we weren't able to see inside what the actual damage was. So we had to keep tearing it apart, tearing it apart, figured out that the block was cracked. But if I had this and was able to peek into the cylinder, would have found out a whole lot sooner, would have made things a lot easier. So. This thing, this thing can pay for itself in its first use um, by saving you time. So I highly recommend it. Definitely go check it out and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Thanks.